Okay, we're going to talk about some basic ways to finish your seams. And there are a couple different stitches that are on most machines um, that work great for the general applications. Uh, the first one is a zigzag stitch. I prefer the three-step zigzag. You can also use just a regular zigzag. You, most machines have several different zigzag options. I'm going to use the three-step zigzag, which means it sews three stitches to the point, and then it turns and sews three stitches the other direction, and so on and so forth. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to, first of all, stitch my straight seam with just a straight stitch. skipping over all the pressing. Now I'm going to do the zigzag stitch to finish this seam. Uh, you can do it with the seam allowances together or you can separate them and do them open. I'm going to do it open for this demonstration so you can see what that looks like. So you want to line up the side of the fabric with the inside of the presser foot so that, that the zigzag point is right at the edge of the fabric. It keeps the threads from unraveling. That's what it looks like. See that zigzag there? And I'm going to repeat it on the other side. And that's what it looks like there so that's the open seam with zigzag stitches on either side now there is another way to finish your seams and that is to have the two of them sewn together so I will show you how to do that on this next sample so first thing I'm going to do is so my straight stitch. And instead of opening the seam, I'm going to sew them with the two clothes. I'm going to use the same zigzag stitch and sew the edges together. Lining up the edge of the fabric with the inside part of the presser foot. And that's what that looks like. Um, you can just press that to one side and it'll be ready to go. Those are the two methods with the zigzag stitch. I will have a couple other ones to show you here in the next sec section.